Hello, today I'm going to run you through how to get your logo really perfect on your website in a few tips that I think are really important. So a number one important thing for your logo is to have one version of it that has a transparent background. So when your designer made your logo or if you make your logo in Canva, you want to make sure you have it as a .png file and that it has a clear background, like there's no white. So um, if you have one from your designer, that's great. Um, and if you are making one in Canva, I'm going to share my screen now and show you how to make sure you get it in the right file format. So here comes the screen share, um, Canva. Let's just, I find that this size, also with the logo, the size is quite important. Like if you have a square logo and it has a lot of white space at the top and the bottom, you're not going to be able to put it exactly where you want. So you really just want the size of the file to be really similar to the dimensions that you want it to be on your website. I hope that makes sense. But look, this rectangle is a pretty good guide, 12, 1280 by 720. Or if you muck around with it and you find you want it different, I actually find like 1200 by 600 is great. So if you didn't see that, you can use one of Canva's layouts when you make designs. And they have heaps of great layouts, but you can also choose custom dimensions, which is what I'm going to do for this exercise today. It opens it up in a new tab and here we go. Right, so this is just a blank design. There's nothing there at all. And hopefully you have a logo that your graphic designer gave you that has a transparent background. Now you can see it has because you see over here, um, there's no color in the background. You can just see the Canva pic. So that's how you'll know. If you drag it in here and it's on a white blob, like, I don't know, oh, like this, um, then you know it's not on the transparent background. And that's fine. You can still use that, but it just is a bit trickier and it means you're going to have this kind of white blob over whatever you're doing. So then you just drag the logo as big as you can inside that design. And now you can see for this one that, I mean, in my opinion, actually, it would be better if we trimmed off that extra, the extra white space. So I would probably actually redo this design as a 1200 by 400, and then it would be the right size. So let's even do that just for the sake of the argument. So we can see how perfect it can be. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be that you can tuck it up in the corner a bit closer or that you can create white space around it if you want that, but you don't just have this arbitrary white space kind of stopping you from being able to put your logo where you want it. So this is like not perfect, but I think it's perfectly good. <laughs> that would do. You still have a little bit of white space and if you want, you just keep going. So you might make another one that's 1200 by 350 and just see if that's a better size. But for the sake of this argument, let's rename it um, your name and the word logo. And that will make it easy to find once you download it if you name the file. Otherwise, it'd just be called Untitled. Now, when you click Download, there's options. There's PNG, there's JPEG. PNG is what we need to use because if you choose JPEG, there's no transparent background option. Only with PNG do you have this option. And then all you do is tick the button, super easy. Click download and here it comes. Now, I'm on a Mac, so my downloads pop up in my downloads folder. If you're on a PC, hopefully you know where stuff goes when it downloads. And then you'll just be able to pop to that folder and find the file that you just made. So really, that's it. And you can do that with any kind of file in Canva that already has a transparent background, you can bring it in. The other thing that you might wanna do is if you're making a logo and you want it to have a transparent background, I'll show you that as well. So back to our design. Let's say we don't have a logo from a designer because that's what happened in this case. But we're going to actually use Canva to make our own logo. And this is still quite nice dimensions, 1200 by 400. I think that's pretty good. And 
it's great to have a logo like while you can have flourishes and shapes and other features in your logo that your logo may have a pictorial element i think it's really useful to have one version of your logo that is text only um it just is adaptable and you could have the text and the image separate and you can kind of reconstruct your logo in different ways it just gives you more control so say we're going to use canva to make our logo and i'll make up a new logo for myself um so i might make it a fancy font i do like this font um and we'll make it bigger and we're like oh yes this is great this is my new logo i love this um you know what i'm just gonna take this out it's hardly readable <laughs> even bigger maybe a bit bigger what can i do i actually want it to be about 110. okay there's the natasha just pop it there and then I'll choose another font for the Berta. Um, what will I use? Something chunky. Let's use this. I suppose it doesn't matter too much if I like it or not. It's not forever. It's just for the demo. So then we could pick up the spacing. Yeah, the spacing. Oh, look at that. Making a new logo. It's not so bad. So say that is my new logo. It is not bad actually. Maybe I'll change it. Um, <laughs> and I've made it up here in Canva. And now I want to download it. It's the same story again. You click download. You choose PNG, and you click transparent background. So that now. When I have that file and I put it on my website, I might want it to sit over an image or um, however you want to use it. You might use it as an overlay on social media images or anything like that at all. It's totally up to you how you use it. Um, it just is a file that you're going to need when you're working on your website or when you're making your social media images. And I hope that was helpful and you have a great day. Thanks so much. See you later.